scouting the Piedmont for local people, local products, and local haunts. This is your Carolina Insider. We're here at the Tavern Museum, right here in Old Salem, home to several area triad haunts. Today, it's the living history town that offers several stories of the unliving. We're here in the cellar of the Old Tavern with uh, Brian Coe. You are the Director of Interpretation. Yes. Well, and I know there's several stories, but there's one in particular. It's what, the story of the stranger or the traveler? Yes, there's a story of the traveler here at Salem. He came to the tavern late one evening, very dark and rainy, and he was sick. The tavern keeper took him in and called for the doctor. The man was unconscious, and they treated him for several days, but he did pass away. But he never gained consciousness to tell them who he was or where he was going. And so he was buried in the stranger's graveyard here in town. Um, but several days later, the staff started noticing odd things happening in the tavern. They felt like they were being followed or watched. They felt cold spots. The barkeeper didn't want to come down here in the cellar anymore by himself. And so um, one time the tavern keeper's maid screamed and came running in saying that she saw a person upstairs. And so he went upstairs and saw a misty apparition of the man who had passed away a few weeks earlier. And so he told the tavern keeper how to contact his wife in South Carolina, who came, gathered his effects, and put him to rest, so to speak. And supposedly all the incidents stopped after that occurred. Wow. And that's just one of many, many stories Many here. stories here in town. And now, it, I hear you're having something called, what, uh, Lanterns and Legends? Legends and Lanterns Tours, yes. Okay. And how do people find out about that? Uh, www.oldsalem.org. And we have tours on October 28th and 29th from 7 to 9 p.m. There's a tour that leaves every 15 minutes with uh, a guide and candle lanterns. Wow. Well, for Carolina Insider and Brian Coe, I'm Karen Myers.